As a business grows, as an entrepreneur, founder, CEO, we can find ourselves doing more, working harder, and ultimately earning less. It's so important that we build a structurally sound business that enables us to elevate up out of the day-to-day operations such that you can be an effective and impactful CEO doing things you love and doing things you're great at rather than getting bogged down in the detail. Watch this. As we go up the growth curve as an entrepreneur, our head can feel like a computer with a hundred tabs open. We're thinking about marketing, we're thinking about sales, we're thinking about delivering to existing customers, we're thinking about the processes, we're thinking about cash flow, we're thinking about the fact that it's our spouse's birthday next week. We're thinking about a lot and what that means is that the computer or the machine is working a little bit more slowly than usual. Sometimes tabs disappear and we just forget things and it's a difficult intellectual weight to sustain for any enduring period of time. So let me simplify it for you. Every business only has six elements. Every business only has six elements. And it's through these six elements through which I build eight figure businesses. It's through these six elements through which I conduct strategic planning with my team. It's through these six elements through which we build out our org chart and build out the structure of our team. It's through these six elements through which we uh, measure and manage performance. These six elements form the fundamental six pillars for the blueprint that enables an organization to not only be scalable, but to be scalable in a well-structured and sustainable way right? It's quite easy to drive aggressive growth for a period of time in an unstructured way. But what can happen in that instance is we're driving growth, revenues growing, profits often not. And because we're not developing the structures that underpin that top line growth, it will be temporary and often, uh, sorry, inevitably, we will see a dip eventually. So why are these six elements so important? Because this is what enables you to be a well-rounded entrepreneur. This is what enables you to be a CEO building a cross-functional, well-structured company so that you're not only driving strong growth as proactively as you'd like to, but you're also enabling the growth as you go. If you want to build a business that can work without you, you need to become great at building these six fundamental pillars. So, What are they? Let's talk through them, the six elements. Just think about the workflow or the production line of your company. We go out into the world and we generate interest and attention. We call that marketing. That interest and attention then walks through the door. For most of us, metaphorically, for some of us, literally, right? At that at that uh, juncture, it's our job to turn that interest and attention into a paid customer. We call that sales. So we've got marketing, we've got sales. We've marketed it, we've sold it, what do we then need to do? We then need to deliver it. And so the third element is product development and delivery. We're delivering the products we developed. I use the term product inclusive of services. Why? Because if you're a service-based business, like all of my businesses are, we view the service as a product. We modularize it. We bottle it. We put processes around it. Not to detract from its magic, but to bottle its magic, making it even more scalable. So for the third element, we're calling it product development and delivery particularly as we go up the growth curve, you've navigated seed stage, you've navigated startup stage, operations becomes increasingly important. The internal processes of the business, the internal workings of the business, how well does the entire engine end to end run and how well are our people trained in how well the business runs end to end. That's operations, very distinct from product development and delivery. And so we've marketed it, we've sold it, we've Uh, delivered the products we're developing and customer journey also falls under that third element. We're operationalizing, hopefully at a rate that keeps up with our growth. There's really only one thing left to do. The fifth element, count and manage the money. We call that finance. And so they're the first five elements, marketing, sales, product development and delivery, operations and finance. And then what's the sixth element? Well, the sixth element is the heartbeat of the organization, the very people that bring it together. The sixth element is indeed people. 
And so they're the core six elements that are inherent within every business, whether the entrepreneur and founder is cognizant of them or not. And what we find is that in the absence of this kind of a conversation, in the absence of this kind of a structure to think into, often the entrepreneur is viewing their business in a lopsided way. They're angling towards sales and marketing and perhaps neglecting product delivery and operations. Or they're angling towards operations and financial management, but they need more firepower in sales and marketing. There's essentially two sides to growth. There's drive growth, sales, marketing. Uh, digital marketing, customer acquisition, and then there's enable growth, processes, operations, financial management, people management, people leadership. The secret to sustainable scale is to be able to effectively balance both of those ongoing competing demands. If we take just one element out of a well-engineered business, let's say we were to take out marketing, for example. Well, now from a sales perspective, we don't have the same quantity or quality of interested prospects and leads to get in contact with. So we're going to make less sales. That's going to make us less financially scalable. That's going to mean that we're bringing in customers that might not be uh, inherently qualified for the product or the service that we're offering. It's going to make our operations more clunky and it's actually going to have a detrimental effect on our internal culture, right? And so if you take just one piece of the pie out, it's going to compromise the effectiveness of every other function and ultimately dilute the performance of the organization. The intent here, guys, is simple. Become a well-rounded CEO developing a well-rounded company. Now, Imagine knowing exactly where you were strong and exactly where your business is strong and exactly where your business is weak in each of these six elements. And I'm not talking about roughly or subjectively, I mean factually. To help you develop into a well-rounded entrepreneur and CEO, we have distilled the science of scale into a particular tool we're calling the business growth profile. And this is similar to the Myers-Briggs of business. Essentially what we've done is over working with 250,000 entrepreneurs and helping them generate over a billion dollars in value, building teams of up to 250 people, over hundreds of industry, we've taken what enables great businesses to scale and put it into one diagnostic tool called the business growth profile. Today I'm giving you first access to this. This is the science of how the world's best companies are built that's going to show you exactly where you're strong, exactly where you're weak, and exactly what you need to do to build out the structures of your business to make it more sustainably scalable. If we look at some of the real data that's been coming in from the business growth profile, these are consulting companies at different stages of revenue. So this is consulting businesses on an aggregate at 2.1, at 4.5, at 7 and at 12.3. And what you can see inherent in these business growth profiles is it's not just the revenue that's growing. Indeed, the revenue is growing because the structure of the business is ultimately building out. Now, until the end of April, you actually have an opportunity to fill out this diagnostic tool absolutely free. So click on the button, jump through to your business growth profile. Not only will it show you how the world's best companies are built, not only will it give you your visual map for growth, it will do all of that in a step-by-step -step manner in under 15 minutes. Have fun with it, enjoy it, and remember the intent here is to become a well-rounded, well-functioning CEO and entrepreneur who can ultimately build a great business that can grow beyond you.